Hey guys, how's it going? I've been getting some questions about how we mount our GoPros on our helmets. My brother and I, we both wear 509 altitude helmets. Um, I used to wear an FXR, uh, Mark used to wear an HAC. We both ended up switching. Uh, I switched a couple years ago to a 509 helmet and really like it. So this video isn't about reviewing the helmet, it's more about how we mount our GoPros onto them. So we mount our GoPros on our 509 L2 helmets using the factory uh, mount that comes with the helmets when you buy them. I know lots of, there's a bunch of different ways to mount your GoPros. There's J mounts, there's slide on mounts. Um, there's guys have a bunch of different ways to do them. I just did what works for me. I just used what I had uh, around my shop and what came with the helmet. So for hardware for the helmet, I got a bolt that fits snugly in the mount that came with the helmet, two washers and a nut. Before I do anything, I take a tape measure and I measure two inches from the tip of the helmet and, and drew a mark. The easiest way to mount these things is to take your visor off, um, flip it upside down and make the mark uh, in the crest of the helmet and then drill from the inside out because then you're, you're sitting in the valley and you know it'll be centered on your mark that you made. Measure twice, cut once because you don't want to have to order a new visor because that would not be fun. Next thing you do is you take one of the washers that you get and what I did is I bent it in the vise uh, to a certain angle uh, and I just kind of eyeballed it in trial and error and got it to match up perfectly with the crest that's on the helmet like that. And the reason why I did that was when you put your bolt in and you get your mount put on there and you start tightening it up if you tighten it too much without the washer what you're going to do is you're probably going to tighten it too much and crack your helmet or make it susceptible to getting cracked when you hit a tree branch or something out riding. So what I did is I bent that and then when you're torquing down the, the mount, uh, it's less likely to crack. So now we'll start putting on our mount. So start off with your bent washer, your bolt, and then take your mount and you want it so the, the J side of the mount is pointing forward uh, and this nub is in front of the bolt hole. Put that on. And if you see here, what's gonna stop your mount from spinning when you're tightening it is that nub's gonna get stuck in the valley and it'll be stuck straight. So uh, if you drilled your hole correctly and put your bolt in, your mount should always be straight. You put your other washer on, your, your nut, and then you'll just uh, tighten it up. So once you get your mount put on your helmet, I thought I'd mention that I chose a bolt length that when you tighten your mount on, the end of the bolt just comes flush through. Uh, that way you're not hitting your camera screen on it if you want to fold it back. So then we'll put our, our GoPro on. The first time you put your GoPro on, it might be a little sticky. You gotta wear the mount in a little bit. One of the reasons why I wear my GoPro like this is when your battery's dead or you just don't want to film or anything, you can just tilt it up out of the way and it won't get hit by any branches or anything. Another good thing about wearing your GoPro like this is that uh, when you're filming, you don't see your, your chin, you don't see the top of your helmet. It's just a really clean view. It's no different than what you're seeing with your eyes when you're riding. Another nice thing though too is the GoPro is at the perfect height to where you don't see it in your line of sight. Uh, if you really look hard, you can look up and you can see recording. So uh, that could be a benefit if you're doing lots of filming. So I hope this helps questions on how we end up mounting our GoPros. Everyone has their own opinion. Everyone likes their helmet set up a different way. This is what we do. This is what works for us. Haven't had any issues with anything breaking or coming loose. In the past, we've lost a GoPro due to a 3M sticky mount. It's fortunate, not only because we lost a GoPro, but uh, the film that was on it was from a couple years ago in Revelstoke at Christmas time. We were in about handlebar deep snow all day, uh, deepest day I've ever experienced. So it's unfortunate we lost it, but we learned from it and uh, we haven't had any issues with this setup and we're gonna be rocking it for the future. Sorry we haven't been posting much. My brother and I were both in engineering. I'm in my fourth year of engineering and he's in his first year. So we're, uh, we're pretty busy with school right now, but uh, come springtime when we're done school, we plan to start kicking out a lot more videos. I'm gonna be doing a build on my dirt bike. I have a 2004 Honda CR250. I got a bunch of goodies going on it, a 2020 restyle kit, new wrap, and a bunch of other goodies. So um, stay tuned for that. 
Thanks for watching. We really appreciate the support.